Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falker County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, this week, I, I wanted to uh, make some comments, answer some questions that have popped up at the Portrait of a Virginia Graduate presentations. Um, the Portrait of a Virginia Graduate is a, um, a initiative, statewide initiative, far-reaching initiative, whereby you know students would be uh, uh, required to take fewer SOL tests, more authentic assessments, performance-based assessments, uh, a more focus through the curriculum on the five C's, communication, critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, and citizenship. Um, also, uh, it's it's more of a, 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 a profile whereby students after the 10th grade are able to go in a very specific direction in terms of um, what their long-term future plans are. You've got, you know, the more the college-bound track versus uh, perhaps the more uh, technical ag, CTE related track, nursing, etc. And the, the whole purpose of doing, uh, of, of changing the way we, we provide this instruction and um, the curriculum is to give kids more opportunities, not less. So this is one of those questions or uh, multiple questions that came up uh, at, the, at the fairs is um, a concern about um, you know, lowering the bar for students or forcing students to go into force in quotation marks, force them to go into career and technical education curriculum. And none of that is accurate. It's really up to the student and, and hopefully in conversation with their parent, whereby they would they would take the AP dual enrollment track, governor school track to better prepare for uh, their, their um, co career at college university. Um, versus a different track where we're, we're still preparing those students for life after high school, but much more specifically and in a much more meaningful way. Okay, because what we what we know for sure is, you know, not all students are going to go to college. About half the kids that go to college don't finish college. That's according to the uh, Gates Foundation study. After six years, about 50% don't finish college. We we have to provide something different so that those kids are equipped uh, with those, those five C's I just mentioned and the ability to go into the workplace and be successful uh, just by virtue of the fact that they're able to collaborate, work with others, problem solve, et cetera, et cetera. So um, the Portrait of Virginia Graduate, is, it's sort of a complicated thing. It still has a ways to go in the General Assembly. You know, there's some bills out there currently that will take some of the steam out of the portrait because I think there's some fear uh, amongst some uh, politicians who don't necessarily understand what performance assessments are, for example, and I could I could talk for hours about assessment and about what performance assessment is. A performance assess performance assessment is not a, a multiple choice test. A performance assessment is me, the student, demonstrating what I know uh, visually, or through a project, or through group work, or through a, a, a research paper. Is it, for example, is a authentic assessment is a uh, skills assessment right so uh, there's a lot to it but here's what I want to encourage you this uh, brochure is available uh, at our website and just to make sure I get it to everybody I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my uh, on my web page uh, superintendents page and uh, on my blog but it's a really good visual of what the portrait of the Virginia graduate is and uh, it also provides the dates for the the work sessions and also wanted to mention that on the 20th February 20th the Portrait of a Virginia Graduate, that session at Auburn Middle School will also be live streamed, so you'll be able to watch it. Uh, all you need to do is go to our website, and I be believe that access will be under the instruction page. And knowing our handy-dandy new PIO, Tara Halkowski, she'll probably be sending out more information about how you can link into that stream. But um, a lot happening, and this is very different, and, and, and it's hard for some people because it is significantly different, but it's better. It's just a better approach to teaching and learning and preparing kids for life after high school. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you.